Um, it was interesting because I had never been to the African Championships before. I've always heard about it from my friend Frankie Fredericks and from other African people um, that I know. I've always heard that there was, I always knew that it was very important to them because a lot of them would break off from their competitive seasons and they say, oh, I have to attend the, uh, the African Championship. So I finally got to, to be. That crowd in that stadium responded to events in a way I haven't seen because every single javelin throw, every fall of the hammer, every single event they were into in a way that I'm, I'm not used to seeing audiences be that much into a, a competition. Wow, so I mean, what you saw, does Africa have the potentials to um, build and sustain their talents? I don't think there's any doubt about that. And I, I told a, a reporter this week, he said, you know, how is Africa doing? I said, Africa is doing better than it ever has. Africa never had the 400 meter world record for men. You have that now in Van Niekerk. Africa has never had the long jump world champion for men. You have that now in Luvo Manyonga. So Africa is doing better than it ever has. The continent has always been strong in the middle distances and in the long distances. That's always going to be the case. The marathon as well, obviously. But look at the other events. A couple of years ago, you had uh, the Kenyan bet having the 400 meter world title. So Africa is doing as well as it's ever done in the typical traditional stronghold events for Africa, but they're also getting better in the other events. I think it's the best it's ever been for the continent. I think Nigeria back in the days used to be good with the relays, with the sprints, mm -hmm. and came down with this generation of athletes you saw in Asaba. Uh, can they pick up the spark again? Um, I am a coach now, and I look at Nigeria as 200 million sprinters waiting to be discovered. Okay, I ran against Adenikin and that generation, Ezinwa. And I look and I realize you're doing less now with more. It should be the opposite. But it means that you have to find your talent before they get on a football field, before they start doing whatever else takes them away from being on the track. Because as a coach, I look around at your population and I go, there are too many people here for you all to only have one or two. I know Blessing, I've covered her for her entire career. But there should be 30 blessings. There should be 20 male sprinters who are not just top 50 in the world. They should be top 10. Your population dictates that that should be so. Blessing actually gets mentioned a lot in my group. Uh, I coach the reigning now under 20 champion in the 100 and the 200 meters. But I, all of my athletes are shorter. And I always, every time they, every time they upset me, I say, listen, I'm going to go get blessing. Because I, I think she is such a perfect specimen in terms of a sprinter. Um, I know that she's struggled in the past with really performing when it counts. Like, I had her on the podium in London 2012. There's no way you look at her semifinal in London 2012 and say that she is not going to be on the podium. But I know about getting into the Olympic final and things go wrong. Having come to Nigeria and seeing her in all the billboards, I was expecting to see her everywhere. I thought she'd run the 100, the 200, and the 4x1, maybe even a long jump. Um, so I was disappointed to see that she did not show up. I subsequently learned, though, that she's really having some physical challenges now. And it actually was sort of a, a yeoman effort for her to even be in the relay. Because the truth is that the way that she's feeling these days, maybe we would not have seen her in anything. But um, I really hope that she gets better because I think whether or not she realizes it, blessing is going to be the impetus. She's going to be the inspiration. She's going to be the spark. There's a lot of kids at home watching that are going to look at blessing and say, that's what I want to do. And I say this because I have seen it in my own career. When I was competing, it was really just me from Trinidad and Tobago. And I thought, well, it's just me and that's it. And then the minute I retired, we had five, six, seven world-class sprinters right, including Richard Thompson, who got the silver medal behind Usain Bolt in, 20, in 2008. And when you talk to Richard, he says, I didn't know you, but I watched you on the TV. And I said, look at that. He's from where I'm from. If he can do it, I can do it. Blessing is a very important person in this country, because, especially for young girls, because you're always going to have male role models. In the same way that Shelly Ann Fraser Price is way more important in Jamaica than Usain Bolt, because they have many male role models and not as many female. 
Blessing Okabari Igotigiwanor is the most important female in Nigeria right now for sports because she is going to usher in your next generation of female athletes.